The chairman of the Presidential Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms Committee, Taiwo Uyedili, has said the federal government will be saving 8 trillion naira annually from the few subsidy removal and exchange rate unification policies. Uyedili spoke during a panel session at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry 2024 Economic Outlook and Budget Analysis. He therefore said it was critical for the government to spend the amount saved from the two policies to ameliorate the suffering of the average Nigerian. He said the Nigerian people made sacrifices as a result of the few subsidy removal and the government should tackle their challenges, starting with the multidimensional poverty in the country. Oyedele said the committee tried to look at the most pressing issues the people are facing which include inflation, forest instability, and lack of investment. And one of their recommendations is for the government to suspend some taxes. According to Oyedele, there is an urgent need to create digital opportunities for the teeming youthful population because Nigeria has enough capacity to generate $20 billion annually from the technology sector. And our former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has condemned plans by the federal government to hand over the renovated Port Harcourt Refining Company to private operators. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited said it was seeking to engage reputable and credible operations and maintenance companies to operate and maintain the refinery. It said this was to ensure reliability and sustainability towards meeting the nation's fuel supply and energy security obligations. The refinery had been moribund for years until late last year when the federal government said it had been fixed and would start refining crude for the nation's use. Reacting on Tuesday to the plan to hand the refinery over to private managers, Atiku tackled former President Muhammad Buhari and the incumbent president, Bola Tenubu, for failing to heed his advice that the refinery and others owned by the government should be sold to private individuals. He asked the NNPCL to explain to the satisfaction of Nigerians what benefits its newly discovered approach to privatization will confer on Nigeria and Nigerians. And now the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited says it has in the past one week uncovered no fewer than 83 illegal refineries in the Niger Delta. The NNPCO disclosed this on its ex handle on Tuesday as part of its war on crude oil theft, saying 15 illegal pipeline connections were also discovered within the same period. According to a video shared with the Post, it was uh, disclosed that between January 6 and 12, a total of 211 incidents of oil theft and vandalism were reported. The NNPCL also said 15 illegal pipeline connections were also discovered within the same period. NNPCL also said that it inspected an illegal crude oil vessel loaded with thousands of metric tons of crude, adding that the 23 crew on board the vessel have been arrested. Disclosed that the move was part of efforts by the company and its partners to halt the menace of crude oil theft. The Nigerian Railway Corporation has commenced the reactivation of old narrow gauge networks, with the Eastern Line currently at an advanced stage in preparation to resume operations. The focal point of this endeavor is the Eastern Line, stretching from Port Harcourt to Mejuguri, identified as a crucial route by the federal government. The Director of Mechanical Services and Signal Communication at NRC, Jerry Oche, revealed that this development in a statement issued on Tuesday in Lagos. Before former President Muhammadu Buhari left office, he underlined at the time that the Port Harcourt Mejuguri Railway would lead to the revival of economic activities along the Eastern Corridor. He had also highlighted the impact of insurgent activities on the region and expressed the belief that the railway project would serve as a stimulus for industry and trade. According to Oche, the NRC has initiated the rehabilitation of coaches and locomotives in preparation for the resumption of operations on the all-important routes. 
Revenue collection by 11 electricity distribution companies, DSCOs, rose by 30% in the first nine months of 2023 to 782.74 billion naira when compared to 598.13 billion naira collected over a similar period in 2022. This is according to latest data from the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission despite the ongoing epileptic power supply across the country. The data also showed that collection efficiency improved by three percentage points, rising to 73.6% recorded in the first nine months of 2023, when compared to 70.12% collection efficiency recorded in the first nine months of 2022. On a month-on-month -month basis, revenue collection in the month of September 2023 rose by 8.49 billion naira or 9.9 percent to 94 billion naira from 85.51 billion naira recorded in August 2023. And despite the increased collection efficiency in 2023, NEC data, however, indicated that revenue shortfall by the discos rose to 500 and 3.13 billion naira in the months of January to September 2023 compared to revenue shortfall of 268.31 billion naira recorded over a similar period in 2022. The revenue shortfalls in addition to the federal government's decision to freeze electricity tariff increase last year have increased electricity subsidies payable by the government to about 600 billion naira for 2023 and a projection of 1.6 trillion naira for 2024.